Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm HexDSL. Um, one of the things I really enjoy doing is my little micro blog over on HexDSL.com. So if you go to HexDSL.com, you scroll down the front page, you'll see it's been called my Obsidian Log. And what that is, is just literally, essentially like looking at someone's Twitter profile, but it's just me talking to myself. Uh, not many people use this or like this, and that's fine because the whole point is I'm kind of talking to myself. Uh, it's just to get stuff out of my head into the ether um, to the point where I only share it, kind of because I think it's entertaining. Um, there's no real reason to really share it. I just get stuff out of my head into the ether. And the way things leave my head and go to the ether is I hit this red button over here, and then it pops up with here and go, whoa, such pop-up. We look at that, whoa, such pop-up. Hit enter, and it appears there basically instantly with the time, the date, and then I can just go, wow, that that's there. And this is just an editable list as well. This is just a table. There's nothing fancy going on here. It doesn't quite fit the 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 size limitations of of uh of, of of the actual editor so that's fine i don't mind that whatever that's fine i don't really look at this page anyway i just add things and then just push it to the web um but if you go to the hexdsl.com you can um i'm just burping a little bit uh, you can text dsl.com you can scroll down it'll go up city log or micro blog click that and you'll just end up here and you can see that now i know at least one person checks this regularly which is entertaining to me uh, and i think a few more people probably look at it and go wow and they get on with their day and never think about it ever again but i enjoy it a great deal but the video is really about how i use this let me show you my daily template as well my daily template they go, oh my God, you can see me. This is on video. Um, I've got three categories. The three categories are literal, literal, uh, the literal data view tables where they're just like, there's one file and it's just picking out this information based on the date matching the file name because the file names are all dates, obviously. And it just pulls it out and it just it just scans it. It pulls it out and it brings it here. So, each, so if I want to look for a thought from a week ago, Rather than having to look at the daily sheet every week, I can just go to the big list and scroll down. I find it really handy. Because of that, I find it useful to split things up three ways. I've got the writing specific thoughts. So that almost ends up being a to-do list. I've got thoughts I had, which is general abstracty things that are probably not important. And then things that happen, which is chronicling things that actually happened. I've got the three buttons up here as well to let me do that. So if, if I've got any writing thoughts, I can hit the... Uh, the A for writing ideas. I could hit the uh, the little eraser type beaker type thing for quick diary entry, which is here. And then ideas I had is the light bulb. I've also got a few more things here, like the ability to turn typewriter scrolling on and off as well as Zen mode. It's really useful, actually. I really like that stuff. Um, and here you can see, I can click this button here and just go directly to the list of stuff, which is really cool. Now, how do I accomplish this? Uh, I accomplish this, and again, again, I've got buttons all over the place to do this. I accomplish this with two plugins. This is not a tutorial. This is a quick guide so you know what is possible. I go to settings, and uh, you can see my uh, my uh, public plugins here. And public plugins? Um, community plugins, there we go. So quick add is the first one. And I've made a thing called microblog, and I've ticked it to make it hot keyable. We'll talk about that in a second. And all I've done is I've pointed it to microblog.md, um, and it looks for the table header, which that, that is the actual table header in Markdown, and then it appends something directly afterwards, which is date, then a pipe to make it match the table, time, pipe to match the table, and then the words I've just typed, which is the three columns. That is it. Very easy, straightforward. You're seeing all the settings required to make that work right now. So I have no doubt you can figure that out. Um, and the second one I use here, and again, we have to remember to tick it so it becomes hot keyable. So it's something we can map to a key. And then we use Commander, which is something that customizes the UI of Obsidian. Terrible name, but it customizes the UI. And on the ribbon bar here, which is this one down here, I don't know why it's called the ribbon, but this bar, the, my, my, my dock keeps popping up, but this bit here, look at there, I didn't trigger the dock. And then I've got, obviously, I've got quick add and micro blog there. So I click it and it triggers that. That is it. Um, I also use the tab bar there to add my other stuff up there at the top. Um, and that's all I use Obsidian for. Uh, that's all Obsidian, that's all I use Commander for. That is it. So it's Commander and quick add are the two, uh, the two plugins I needed. And then I use data view to then retrieve the information as I want. Honestly, if you're using Obsidian for any length of time, you've probably got data view installed. You've probably just never used it. Um, so yeah, that's that's how I do it. And if I go back to my main page, you can see all the way, all the way. In fact, if I go to, uh, if I make this a a source view, you'll just see it's just three, it's just a bunch of data views that make all this possible. It's a bunch of data views. The reason I do it in data views, there's two reasons. It means I have the ability to go to a single file. So if I, I had a writing idea, what was that writing idea? Rather than looking through each page, you just go to that one writing idea and look down the list. That works better for me. Um, 
same with diary entries and stuff like this. So something I wanted to note, and I just don't remember when I did it. I can just go there and look in one file. But also, when you first load Obsidian with Obsidian Sync, it'll you'll have a setting where it'll, it'll go to and make a new page. So it'll make a new today page. Also, it will be syncing the old today page. And I've had it where the old page has got lost behind the new page, and I've kind of lost a whole bunch of text. So by having my, my today page essentially empty, and it's just pulling from other pages, it means I'm not opening up a page and locking a file or fucking around the file that isn't quite synced yet. It means that everything is always going to be synced in the background and then displayed. Um, so when I first open Obsidian, if I made a lot of changes in one location, I'll open Obsidian on my computer and it'll sync it down. And I'll just see the things just populate and I'm never banging on that same fold to prevent and prevent me accidentally losing data quite well, I think. Um, and yeah, that's how I do my today and my microblog in Obsidian. And it works really, really well for me. So thank you for watching. I've been HexDSL. Hopefully you've taken something from this. Good job, guys. Obsidian is pretty good. You should try it if you haven't already. I just keep even all my writing notes are in here. Um, there's a whole folder here for writing notes, and I just go in there and make writing notes about stuff, which is pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to hexdsl.com for my words and Patreon and wish list. There's a bunch of stuff down below. You should appreciate me by pressing buttons. Bye.